Well, hello there. This is Shane from Shane's Books and Review, and I hope you are having a great day today and that your week was a good one. If not, let's make sure the next one is. Today's book is going to be Aftershocks, wrote by Marco Close, narrated by Luke Daniels. Now, the whole reason why I got this is because I've gone through a lot of Marco Close books in the past, and I've, I've gotten caught up. I've read them all now, I think, with the exception of the little one-offs. I haven't read all those yet. And maybe we'll make a little episode out of all those. But essentially, this book is a lot different than what we were reading about Andrew Grayson, uh, whenever it came to the Frontline Saga. Now, this one is going to be a series... I'm not sure how I feel about it. There's Aiden Robertson. That guy, he goes through a lot of stuff. And this book seems like a setup to the next book, of course. But I'm not sure how I feel about the characters yet. So that's why I'm not saying I can give this a good, strong recommendation. But essentially, the breakdown is that there's been a huge war that's happened. Uh, there's multiple galaxies that are involved. And Aiden was pretty well on the wrong side of the war, <laughs> as it were. And he ends up in a wartime military camp. Him and his entire people are pretty well thought of as nasty little buggers now because of the way that the war went and their people are downtrodden and all that. There is some interesting concepts that are put forth on it. You know, what if you were on the wrong side of things and it was the country that you lived in or the planet that you lived on versus another planet and your planet lost? You know, the profiteering and this, that, and the other that can happen in such circumstances. Yeah, in such circumstances. And then Aiden's journey to even get to the point of where the next book is going to start. It's kind of slow paced. There's some interesting things, like I said, that happen. Happens. Like, as soon as he gets released from this camp that he's been at, he immediately ends up pretty well getting mugged because the ship that he's on trying to get to his home planet ends up getting robbed by pirates. And then he's on a planet that doesn't like his people at all, so he's trying to hide that. But because of the work that he did in the war, kind of being a information operative, he has a bunch of back alley contacts, so he tries to get himself a new identity and all kinds of things. It's kind of a neat little setup, but not a whole lot really happened. Why do I not feel like I like this series already. I wonder. It's set up in a very easy way. Aiden's family, apparently on his home world, they're very well connected. His father was running a company that was pretty well an empire. He ends up leaving his sister behind and wants to get back in touch with her. There's, there wasn't really a lot of meat in this book. There was a lot of setup, a lot of exposition, a little bit of the way that he felt trying to get from being released to getting home. The book is left wide open. I think that was the reason why I didn't much care for it. Now, it might be that the second one comes out and then all this stuff falls into place. Okay, awesome. If that happens, then we will revisit this book and go, oh, okay, well, maybe it was a good thing because here's this and this and this, and that's what's going to make it worth reading. But right now, it's just it's a newborn, maybe fledgling book. Uh, although it does have a bit of cuteness to it, I'm not sure I would appreciate it barfing on my shirt just yet, you know? <laughs> So what are some of the feelings that I got out of the book? Well, there really wasn't a whole lot. Uh, a little bit of anticipation, maybe. There was a little bit of wanting it to happen, but it never got fulfilled. So that I think that might be part of it, is I feel a little bit disappointed that there really wasn't any payoff in here. That's, that's really... It's about as far as it got for me. And I did go through it twice. I felt the same way after I read it the second time. I made sure my mood was different, you know, in a better head space, all that, just so that it wasn't like me just wanting to nitpick it because I didn't have a good day or something like that. It's not what it was at all. I would definitely say wait to read this until the second one comes around. So the question of the week, how would something like that make you feel? In some parts of the world, that is something that has actually happened. And if you live in a part of the world where that's not happened before, you really wouldn't have a baseline for that kind of a feeling where the rest of the world was against you and your country. And what you were trying to achieve, you lose. And then your country is severely punished. Uh, today's world, it would be something like tariffs. But in the past, it was reparations. Countries being forced to pay for other military from other countries and the actions and stuff that they had to do. The point in case is Germany. So what would you go through? I know what my answers would be on that. And if I get enough responses down there in the comment section, then we'll address that. And so what would that be like? Put yourself in that, let's say whatever country you're from. Let's say that, that happens. Yeah, I'm just curious. And then for the next book, hmm. I wonder what it should be. We'll destroy the galaxy for cash. I have not made my way through that yet, but I'm going to. Uh, and then we'll have Serpentine, which is something that a friend of mine recommended. And then Legacies. We'll check those out. And then possibly House of Teeth. And I will finish Aching God 
sometime soon. Those are the ones that we have coming up for the next month or so. And of course, if you wonderful guys or gals have any kind of recommendations you would like to make, you know what to do. Leave it down there in that box and we'll go from there. If you happen to like what we do, don't forget we do have a Patreon. Links are always in the description. Like, share, subscribe. This is Shane from Shane's Books and Review, and I will see you in the next video. Speaking of which, YouTube wants you to see one of those two right there. Yep, one of those two. Which one will we pick? We'll see. Have a good day.